in a tiny town can be traumatizing. I'm after trying the Tinder before in an attempt to get through the cold winters that last through July. If you're anything like me and you have a hard time getting a date, you may want to try the Tinder. But first, there are some things you should know. To begin, you must be warned, everybody is on Tinder. My pop is on Tinder. Oh yeah, he held me aside there recently and asked me to help him download the app. At first I was confused or I thought he was joking. How does Pop know what an app is? He must be confusing it for nap. But then I got a little bit upset with Nan down the hallway. And he said, sure, she's that far gone. She'd never know anyway. And it's only in good fun. But anyway, just so you know, if you do decide to go on the Tinder, everyone's going to know about it. And people aren't going to be afraid to let you know they know either. Oh yeah, you're going to have in-laws, neighbors, and possibly even complete strangers coming up to you and casually mentioning they seen you on the Tinder. And you're going to stumble across people like your ex-uncle Jerry. And you're going to learn things about these people that you can't unlearn. See, people love to add saucy little details to tart up their online dating profiles. Mostly untrue mostly gross. Like, really? Did you need to know that your ex-Uncle Jerry's looking for an intimate encounter? Mm. I once stumbled across way too many troubling details about an old prof of mine who, according to his Plenty of Fish online dating profile, is into group activities. Really? You put that on the internet for everyone in town to see? How do you think you can get away with that in a place like this? But then again, it's all part of Tinder in a tiny town. Sometimes you just need to swipe right and risk it all because in a place like this, what do you got to lose? We'd love to know your Tinder in a tiny town story, so comment below and don't forget to subscribe.